Hey guys, today we're going to continue talking about how to solve equations. And today we're going to talk about what happens when you see variables on both sides of the equal sign. Up until now, we've only seen equations that only have variables on one side. So today we're going to have both sides um, of the equal sign. Some of them can be hard. Some of them can be mm, not as many steps as, the, as you've seen in the past. All right, so um, step one, though, is, and we're not going to do a whole lot of these ones to today's lesson, but they will be coming up in the next lesson. But I'm going to put it in here anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify both sides of the equation of the, yeah, both sides of the equation. Okay. Okay. That means both sides, the left side and the right side of the equal sign, we're gonna, we're gonna simplify it, doing the same thing we did before. We're gonna use a distributive property. Um, or, and I should say and or, um, we're gonna combine like terms. Sometimes you have to do both, okay? So we're gonna simplify first, um, and then we're gonna make it look like, um, so that there's no, nothing else you can do. Then what we wanna do is, and this is the new part, this is actually our new part right here, is we wanna move, we wanna move one variable term to the other side. to the other side. The only way we can solve an equation or the way we get our answer is to make sure that variables are by on one side only. So we've got to move that whole term over to the other side. How do we do that? Well, we're going to do that in a way that you guys know already. We're going to make zero. What? Yeah. We're going to make zero with a variable term. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. And the other thing to keep in mind, and be only because I'm a person that likes to keep things positive, I don't like ne negative numbers wherever possible because it's really hard to keep track of them, is we usually move the smaller term to the bigger one. So we're gonna move smaller to bigger and I'll point out what that looks like has to do with the coefficients of the variables. Okay, once we've moved everything over though, we should have, and it should look like, a two-step equation. So what we can do now is make zero with the numbers, okay, by undoing, adding, and subtracting. And then lastly, we can Lastly, we can make one by undoing multiplication and division, okay? So let's look at the first problem that we're going to work on. Here it is. All right, so I'm going to, I didn't put this on the sideways paper, but I'm still going to put the column to make sure my equal signs stay in that column. And if I think about my steps, it said simplify. Well, if I look on the left side, 8 plus 4D is simplified. There's nothing else I can do with that. And then on the right side, I just have 5D. There's nothing else I can do with that. So this is simplified on both sides. So I don't have to do that step right now. But we do need to move because, so we are going to move one variable term to the other side. Move a variable term to the other side. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move a variable term to the other side and I'm gonna take, this is what I meant by smaller to bigger. Smaller to bigger, okay? Here's what I mean by that. I have a 4D and I have a 5D. 4 is smaller than 5, so I'm going to move the 4 over here to where the 5 is on the right side. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say, oh, this is a positive 4D. So I'm going to take the whole term 
and do a minus 40. Remember this was the make zero? We wanna make zero with that entire term. That means I'm gonna include the variable this time. So negative 4D on the left, negative 4D on the right. The positive 4D and the negative 4D make zero, which is exactly what I want. I get eight equals, and I just have 5D and a negative 4D. Well, that makes 1D. Um, we're done because that's the goal is to get D by itself or the variable by itself. We're done. So some of them, this was only a, a one-step problem, right? This is just one step. We just had to do the one thing to get our answer. Um, they won't always be one step, but in this case, that's what it was. All right, let's look at our next one. All right, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to draw my lines in, and I'm going to look and see if I need to simplify anything. And I have 6n minus 1. No simplifying needed there. Um, and then on the right side, I have 4n minus 5. No simplifying there. What you can do is do the plus a negative 1 plus a negative 5. If that helps, um, you can do that. It's not really simplifying, but you can do that right now. All right, so we'll just move on to the move phase. We need to move a variable term over. Well, let's take the smaller. So I have 6n on the left, 4n on the right. Let's take the 4n, because that's the smaller one, and move it. And how do you move it? If I got to cross over this wall of equal signs, right, you can't just do it as is. I've got to make zero. It's got to be negative four. It's got to disappear from this side and reappear over here. So it's negative 4n on the, left, on the right and negative 4n on the left. And I'm going to put the 4n underneath the 6n because those are where the like terms are. And then I'm going to just simplify that. That's going to be 6 minus 4, which is 2n. Then I have plus the negative 1 equals, oh, that makes 0. And then I have a negative 5. So I'm going to put in negative 5. What I have left now is a two-step equation. I've got multiply, and I'm adding a negative 1. All right. So now we just solve this two-step equation. I'm going to make 0 with the numbers. I have a negative one on the left, so I'm gonna undo that by doing po positive one on both sides. That makes zero. The two n comes down, that's gonna be equal to negative five and a positive one make negative four when I combine them. And then we're going to make one. This is multiply, so to undo multiply, we're going to divide both sides by two. And n equals negative four divided by two is negative two. So the answer is n equals negative two. All right, so what I want you guys to do is look at the next problem, pause the video, try to solve it, and then when you're ready to see the solution, unpause. Okay, let's see what you got. So I'm gonna put my equal signs, my equal sign wall here. Um, 8a, there's nothing to simplify, so I'm good here. 5a plus 21, there's nothing I need to simplify here. But a's on both sides is not great. So I'm gonna take the 5a on the right and move it over to where the 8a is. So we gotta do our move, we're gonna move. Um, and I'm going to do negative 5a and negative 5a. The whole term goes away. And now I have 3a equals to positive 21. So I'm just going to move the positive 21 down. It's not really even a two-step equation. It's only a one-step equation. I just need to make one now. So I'm going to make one. I'm going to do that by, if that's multiply, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And A equals 21 divided by 3 is 7. So I hope you guys got that one right. So you may not have to do all the steps.
okay? Just do the ones that are necessary to get the variable by itself. All right, got one more I want you guys to try. Here's the problem. Pause the video, try to do them, try to solve it, and then when you're ready for the solution, unpause, and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, let's check and see how you did. So there's where my equal signs go. Um, negative, not negative, 3x minus 7 um, can't be simplified, because it is already, but I can't make that plus a negative 7, so I can choose to do that. Then I've got 8 plus 23, that's already simplified. I don't need to do any more work there. So all we need to do right now is move. I'm going to move the 3x over to where the 8x is on the right, because 3 is smaller than 8, and that will keep things positive. So I'm going to negative 3x on the left, negative 3x on the right. Those cancel out, and they make 0. So what I have left over here is negative 7 equals 8 and a negative 3x make 5x. And then there's a plus 23. What I have left here is a two-step equation. I've got multiply and I've got adding. So I'm going to make zero now. So I have negative 23, or positive 23, sorry. It means I need negative 23 on both sides. Negative 23s cancel out. And I have negative 7 and negative 23. When I put those together, I get negative 30. That equals, and then I'm going to bring down the 5x. And then the last step, oops, oh, I guess I could write the whole thing. It's all right, is we want to make 1 because I've got a 5 in the front. So we're going to do that by dividing both sides by 5. And I get x equals negative 6 because negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. That is our answer. All right, there's more to do with these problems. We're going to do that in our next lesson. So I want you to try the assignments, do the best that you can, rewatch the video if you need to rewatch it.